Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about traveler's diarrhea because I have a bad case of it. And I'm not shy to talk about it with you guys because it's a common thing. It's normal, it happens to a lot of travelers. And uh, right now I'm currently in Yemen. As you can hear, the prayers happening right now. It's four o'clock prayers. So I think, I don't know what it is that I ate a couple days ago. Maybe one of those um, spicy potato things that you dip the bread in. Or maybe it was a salad because the vegetables weren't washed. But it doesn't really matter what it is. The fact of the matter is uh, my stomach is wrecked and it makes traveling not fun at all, especially when you're using toilets that are holes in the ground with all over the floors, especially when there's never any toilet paper or anything and when the shower is usually just a little hole of water coming out. It's rough to travel in Yemen in general, but having diarrhea makes it about 10 times more rough. So I just want to address the fact because a lot of you guys probably get it and you probably don't know what to do. So what I do is I usually drink a lot of water. Everybody says drink a lot of water, but really drink three times the amount that you normally drink. So today I've already had seven bottles of water um, and you can see how sweaty it is. By the way, the electricity is out in this hotel room right now. And which means the AC is broken and the fan doesn't work. So I'm just sit sitting here baking in my sweat as I'm talking to you guys. So I drink a lot of water and then remember BRB, bread, rice, and bananas. Those three things I pretty much stick to and I've exclusively eaten those three things over the last 48 hours. And slowly my stomach is getting better and better. So water, bread, rice, and bananas. Um, I like to stay away from medication. When I take Imodium, it the opposite happens and I get really blocked up and then I can't use the bathroom for like a week and then that's even worse almost. So it's better to just let your body naturally get rid of what it needs to get rid of. But if you, if you really, really are stuck and it's really bad and you can't do anything, then as a last resort, you can take Cyprofloaxin or just Cypro for short. I carry it with me. It's just big pills that you take and it completely fixes it. It's like a miracle drug, but apparently it's not really good for your insides and there's some uh, bad side effects with it. So you don't want to do it much, but I would recommend carrying Cypro with you um, and taking it if need be. Right now, I'm not taking it because I think it's just going to go away. I get food poisoning about once every month, let's say. So it's quite normal for me, but for people that don't get it very much, I hope that you find this video useful. And the ways that you can prevent food poisoning is always, always, always drink bottled water. I brush my teeth with bottled water. Honestly, it depends what country you're in, of course, but um, most of the time, if you want to prevent it, avoid any kind of drinking water, tap water that's served at the restaurants. And then if you eat fruits or vegetables, make sure that you peel it yourself, like you open it, because otherwise they probably don't clean it out very well. And then I would personally avoid street food and really oily food. Unless you have a strong stomach, go for it. But if you really want to prevent it on the road, then you can stick to restaurants um, with a clean kitchen. Um, but that's not really common in Yemen. So Yemen is um, probably the roughest travel conditions that I've ever experienced. That includes all the places I've been in Africa. That includes the rest of the Middle East in the Gulf countries and Asia and Europe and South America, North America, whatever. It's really extreme traveling. I don't recommend it for the average traveler, but if you really want some real life down nitty gritty experiences, then uh, come here. And honestly speaking, this country is amazing. Um, looking past all the war, looking past the politics, looking past the food poisoning. I've been welcomed with nothing but smiles. I've been invited into homes for some food. I've been enjoying the magnificent nature and world heritage sites all over Yemen. So, okay, I am gonna go use the bathroom. <laughs> Great talking to you guys. Comment below um, if you have any suggestions about traveler's diarrhea, if you have it, or what, how to prevent it. We'd love to hear from you. All right, see you later. I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world.